I've been getting a lot of questions on how to route my signal and how to mess with the hardware, software, to kind of do what I do on my other demo. So I'll show you that. It'll probably be easier to show you than to, to write the emails I've been trying to respond to people. Um, I basically run the guitar into a pod, which is through the quarter inch input. This is just to get the clean signal boosted because the line input from um, from a lot of these sound cards, there's no way to boost it um, unless you use some sort of device. I just use it to basically to do that part. I can use a uh, up there. I've got a um, what do you call those preamp? Does the same thing, maybe a little better than the pod sometimes. Depends on the tone you want. This output signal here goes into the sound card input. It's a quarter inch input that goes into the computer. I then route the computer's sound card, which is the same device, into this mixer. And then the mixer runs power to a power amp and then up to a speakers I mounted up. You've seen in the other video. Okay, now I'll show you the rest of the part is here in this software. Um, here, I'll, I'll hopefully show you how this all works. My patch mix software is, the, I think, the key to a lot of this. I'll start there. And when I first start with this patch mix, I have a line in. I think a lot of you guys are getting to this point for sure, whatever, whatever hardware you're using. Um, but with using an ASIO driver, ASIO driver, whatever they're called, you should be able to route signal all around and create a landing spot or a patch like I do right here on this. This is a this is a, actually a landing patch. I'm routing guitar signal from my sound card into this patch, this input here, and landing it in this Osio out three four. I could land it anywhere I wanted to. Now you say, how do I land it? I'll show you how you land it. In Guitar Rig, and just like Amplitube or these other ones, you go into, when you start up Guitar Rig as, as a standalone, you go up to the audio MIDI signals, and you go into routing. My input will be PCI card left, which is just like what this is named here, PCI card in left, card left. And then I route it to what I named Guitar. Fortunately, this software allows you to name the things. You can name them down here, guitar, or I've seen other ones do it where you have to name Ozio Out 3, 4. You have to activate this somehow. That may be tricky to do. So, I'll move this down. You can see the input and output signal up here. And I will mute the input and do the, the guitar signal. Enough of me, I could noodle forever. Then I go into my ACID program, and when I go record, this is something I was doing earlier, I'll just delete them. I go record, and I will have the option to select the, the, what I've set up already in the patch mix, the guitar, I've set up a bass one on the keyboard, or my I can just do a dry input, which is a lot of you guys are probably only seeing this one. Somehow you gotta figure out how to get this routed and depending on your hardware it may be different and hard to do so here's this patch mix does it like this I have guitar input and I'll push record anyway I don't know what's playing there but now you can see that I'll have this signal anyway if you have any questions just uh, email me but hopefully this will help guide you on your setup especially if you're using the same hardware as me um, let me know if you have questions okay thanks bye